Let's jump directly into this uh, glowing hole in the tree and try another run of Scourgebringer. We uh, have basically not upgraded ourselves at all. Actually, no, we upgraded... Right, Judge Blood Recycling, for lack of a better phrase. But the next meta upgrade we get will allow me to use Fury with whatever the hell that is. And also, I have to remember, I now know what secret rooms look like. I should try. There's a little bit of recovery time when you're in an attack, which is why sometimes I see what's happening, but I'm not fast enough to get out of the way. And the game has a little bit of auto-aim to it, too. So when I'm over an enemy and I'm just smashing X, I don't really have any control over where I'm moving. For the most part, the game is um, moving for me. Damage by 5%. I would love to uh, pick up that upgrade that we had on the last run. The alt seal, yeah, I know. I would love to um, pick up the upgrade we had on the last run that gave me more... better drops, because we picked up a lot of good HP drops and a lot of good damage off of that ability. Why are you not getting stunned? So now that I know what I'm looking for as far as secret rooms go, I am gonna expend more bullets to do it. Here's another, uh, another Monolith comparison. You know, in Monolith you have the recharging bombs that can be used to find secret rooms. In Scourgebringer, you have recharging bullets. It's just temporary resources for the attempt. That is not the ability I wanted to use. We still made it out. <laughs> Takes a little getting used to, but when it works, it feels good. You think the secret room could be here? I guess the um, the the rooms are not necessarily in the middle of the walls, so I could be missing the secret rooms, even though I am shooting walls. We should try different walls in the future. Cause like, I, I'm looking at this side here on the left and I'm like, feel like there's a secret room, but there ain't, there ain't. That's okay, it's a learning lesson. There is a blood shop though. Starting with 500 blood would make these a lot easier to, to utilize. It's a grenade launcher for a thousand. Adds a modification slot to the equipped weapon. Devils take double damage. Bandit, oh, devils? It, it, are all enemies devils? <laughs> what, what, is, what is a devil in this context? Dude, I will absolutely do a challenge room. I don't know why I'm getting challenge rooms. I, I haven't seen them before. Maybe I had to do a couple of runs to unlock them. Maybe you lose the reward if you take damage. You have to like perfect the room or something. Or maybe you just have to fight. And maybe you don't want to fight so it gives you the option. This is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> I, I like how when I'm not shooting anything for a minute, the game is like getting real quiet. They're not playing the uh, the sweet metal soundtrack. Increases damage by 5%. Increases reload speed. Prevents losing HP. Increases sword damage. Increases damage. Reloads your gun. Reload speed by 10%. It's a machine gun. The machine gun was really nice last time, but I kind of want to save my money and not just spend it on the first gun that I see. Oh, 
unfortunately, I'm just like spending all of my bullets the first time I see it. That, did that wall crack? Is that wall cracking? I shot it once and it had like a, oh, you son of a gun. I shot it once and it had like a unusual visual effect on it. You see that? Although I keep using my ammo before I leave the next room. Increases max HP by one. Yeah, I really should have just moved. Oh no. <laughs> uh, like, like, do you see this here? Like there's like a little visual effect here of just like falling dust. You think that indicates that that is a secret room and then that's the tell? Because you can see it here as well. Yeah, that's the tell! So if you see that, um, that like dust indicator on the ground, that means you should shoot the wall! Blast reloading energy slowly recharges automatically when there's enemies around you. Quality looter. Yeah, quality looter was real good. We've done a lot of this floor, but I still think it's fantastic. And now that I know what the tell is for those secret rooms. Oh, there was spikes. I would be a little bit more uh, incentivized to find them. And by incentivized, I mean just, just be easier. The incentivization is just, hey, I'm better at it now because I don't have to pay attention. You know, there's a way you can find secret rooms in uh, in Monolith. We're gonna make that comparison again, I, I guess, but you can usually guesstimate where it is based off of hints, level layout and whatnot. Gun Kata, damage and sword damage up. Sounds good to me. So I think we're ready to fight the boss. We've done everything, so let's go do it. We have not fought the mini-boss, never mind. Why do we go? I've decided to uh, go fight the mini-boss. And while I'm running down here, I'm looking at those walls. Devils take more damage. It's a it's a mod, so... But our, our weapon can't hold a mod? Maybe it can hold three mods? I don't know. Adds a modification to the weapon. And that's a gun that I can't afford. So there's nothing really there that I want. There's our, our bo oh, it's a different one. It's the devil. I don't know what this is. I get it. Got him. Get out, get out of the way. He's making bullets. He's making more bullets. And he's summoning enemies. No, get out of the way! I keep trying to like dash through the enemy to get away from him. Which I'm realizing that's a bad idea because when I dash into an enemy and hit them, I stop my motion. I stop moving. So it's just like costing me. It's not helping me. Please heal me. That's the first time I've seen a new, uh, a new uh, mini boss guy as well. Increases damage, gives back two HP. Sure. Reload speed for the gun, can't even afford it. Let's get out of here. I'm already embarrassed it took that much damage. All right, let's go fight our boss. I need, to, I need to unlock the instant teleportation ability around the map. Such a good thing to have in Gungeon. Body Boulder. I don't know if there are other bosses. Let's also shoot him a little bit.
Best thing I can do for that, I think, is just stand in the middle and then try to run around the bullets. This seems to be the best way of doing it. And then he's got a secondary attack where there's more bullets. How do I how do I dodge your bullets, dude? That's a smash. It's a punch. I got him. That was way better. Bullet damage up. Reloads your gun. Reload speed up. Let's just go down to the next floor and save our money. What are we gonna buy? There was nothing in the shop. The still bastion. I hate this floor. <laughs> this floor sucks. <laughs> no, no, no. Do not create slow moving bullets. The real thing to try to remember as I'm playing is that you can deflect usually hard to remember. Some bullets will do 300% damage, most will do 50%. Unsettling. Increases reload speed. Triple machine gun with phasing bleeding, but it costs three health. If I had health, I'd be invested. Let's see what we get. We should do these early in case it is the, um, you know, better drops. Increases the invulnerability time between two hits. Gives back all of your stuff. Invulnerability when you smash. When you deflect bullets with a smash, which I don't do. I'm just gonna take, um... Increases invulnerability between hits. Gives me more of a chance of, um... Getting out of a room without... Being destroyed. Is your bullet deflection there. I got an achievement for that, because I got a kill, I think. Yeah! The AoE on the Smash is also a little bit larger than you would think. But I don't find myself using the Smash probably nearly as much as I should. Because it does seem like a good way of, um... If you time it correctly, avoid shots from enemies and whatnot. I just... I... It's not that I panic, it's that I expect my character to react instantly, but that's not the case. It doesn't immediately act as soon as you press the button. It is back 2 HP. I mean, look, I'm just gonna grab the health now. That way I don't forget about it later. Your bullet, your ah, and I also. This is one of those games where I, I get stuck on walls a lot. Like I find myself trying to press the buttons. It's like I know what I want to do, but I haven't been able to. Like I'm not good enough at the game to figure out how to plug that into directional inputs. Like I know that I want to wall run. Okay, what do I need to press in order to make that happen in this situation? Oh, nope, you hit the button that uh, stuck you to the wall and then you didn't move at all. Hold on. I wish I could stop you from continuously summoning. You ever try, you know, smashing? Stunning, parrying? Whatever it's called. Ooh. It almost got me. So, we, I keep saying no to the upgrade, but there is an upgrade that is half of a second of invincibility when you smash bullets. I went directly into that freaking thing. I wonder how useful that would actually be. I mean, I, I guess if I smashed bullets, it would be a little bit more useful, huh? Hey. Stop it.
No, it might be a little bit easier to play this with a, a control stick. I can try it for a room. Might help me with a little bit of just like specific motion. Already I'm like, ah, I still, I still think I prefer the D-pad. Okay, yeah, I can't even, I can't even fall down correctly. <laughs> We'll do it like this. Now, how, now here's another question. Do you think that maybe floor two has different tells for secret rooms? I haven't seen anything yet, but there's no uh, there's no guarantee that they all have to be the same. I really thought I would get the counter shot. And by counter shot, I mean stun, stun blast. It's one of those things where it's gonna take time to figure out, won't it? You know what? You think devils are enemies that have horns? <laughs> that would be a very, like, solid way of understanding it, I think. I have four HP. No secret room there. I mean, at this point, I just, I need the health. I don't know what happened there, but it was not good. Not good for me. I need you to die. I keep pushing you to the bottom. I need you to die so that I may live. I got one shield out of that. I'm just like begging the game to give me a secret room at this point. Like I need the health. So I, I tried to reflect and I got it wrong, but the bullet still reflected, but I got hit too. Not good. Guns out of ammo. Hmm. I have not found a single secret room yet. Also, we're almost dead. Double shotgun. Dude, in case there's another shop, I gotta save my money. You know what? Bam! There's like some slight aiming happening there! Get out of the way! <laughs> I saw it coming, but I couldn't do anything about it. More damage. I'm just like begging. I don't understand. That'll be, you know, some unlocks for later, probably. Okay. Get out of the way. Get out of the way! <laughs> Jesus. I'm so panicked now. We didn't even get anything out of this. I didn't see anything, but I, I just wanted to try. It's a gun, an assault rifle, stunning and unsettling. I'll take it, but this doesn't give me the health that I need to survive. I have two HP. <laughs> I see, it's burst fire. Ah, that would have been real annoyed. Oh my god. Increases health by two. Increases reload speed. Increases damage to stun enemies. Will we live? We might live. I am like, please give me a secret room. I'm not gonna be there. Finally out of ammo. I don't know why we weren't out of ammo last time. Let's go fight the boss, I guess. We got a gun. That's why I didn't want to spend money on a gun. I have four HP. This was Candle Boy, right? I can take out Candle Boy. I 
I don't know what this is though. Oh, what the heck? That was not getting behind him, unfortunately. Oh. I wish that I had stunned him. It's not a hard attack to dodge, at least it doesn't seem like it is. We got him. I don't know how I dodged that. I did get hit by some bullets being spawned. I got hit again. We got him. I tanked him at the end there. <laughs> but we've got one HP. I picked up another bullet mod. I don't know what it was. Bleeding, stunning, un unsettling. Well, let's go down to the next floor and take a look at what's going on. We have nine judge blood. 68 says, it's been a long time before since I've seen Abe play a game he's bad at. I don't hate it. Mud says, he's got Risk of Rain 2 runs up on YouTube. <laughs> I get it. Wait a minute. I'm looking at the, uh, the inventory of my bullets on the left. How come some of them have like red exclamation marks? Are those the ones that are bad bullets? Because some bullets do triple damage, but most do 50. Or maybe those are the, the, the good bullets. I got hit by a bee. I have no idea what's going on. Oh my God, it's, dude, it's the same enemies from Monolith, the ones that I hate and they explode on death. Oh, I hate it. They're the, the green like magic enemies from Chaos God's temple. I would take a full heal, heal here, absolutely. A random mod to your current weapon. More, five seconds of invulnerability, half a second of invulnerability when you smash. Judges drop more items with at least one health item. I mean, this doesn't help me because I have one HP. That doesn't help me because my gun is already full. This doesn't help me because I never reflect bullets, but maybe it will help me a little bit. I don't know, are mini bosses judges? What is a judge? We'll get turbo loot, but I really don't think it's gonna do anything. And I'm still just gonna like spam bullets at walls in, in the vain hope. that maybe I can find the smallest amount of HP. You shotgun blast! <laughs> Packs a punch, it's safer to flank it. I guess devils are enemies with horns, huh? That, that would explain it. So judges two, so judges are bosses, so that ability was kind of, kind of terrible. That was a good run though, it was the best run I've ever had. Let's upgrade ourselves a little bit at the tree. Big Stinky Monkey says, this game gives me like more hardcore Revita, Revita. What's the one that's gonna come to PC at some point, Returnal? Even if we are different brains, chemicals, we're all the same cough. Normal does not exist. It was this hard mode? All right, so we can unlock Fury. Right trigger, recharges over time. It destroys projectiles, seems like it does pretty good damage as well. It is not enough to kill the big enemies, but it'll kill small enemies. That's what I'm looking, that's what I'm getting from that animation right there. You can prioritize attacks. Kind of want... Wasn't there like a, a mapping teleport? Defeat the fifth judge to unlock this stuff. Dragon Paunch. All right, that, that looks sick. Combine the smash and dash. Has a four second cooldown. The most savage counter attack. <laughs> Projectiles destroyed by fear are converted into ammunition. One of these was like a, a mapping teleport. Which one was it? I have it unlocked already. God damn it. <laughs> it's just, Taking down enemies counts twice as much for your ongoing combo. Combos break slower when there's no enemies around. Oh. 
completely stop closing, completely stop close to shops or altars. Allows you to sacrifice HP to an altar of blood so that it yields a set of new blessings. Interesting. Um, you can start a run with a random blood blessing from a previous run, providing that you found at least three blessings during your previous run. When an enemy hits you, it gets a mark for two seconds and receives more damage. Very long dash attack right after eliminating an enemy with a dash attack. Let's start runs a little bit more, uh, more money heavy. And then give me a combo meter. So we can get more blood on future runs. I think that's an acceptable amount of upgrades. And that was a very good run. I like how when you upgrade this tree, it gets more chimes, by the way, because it is the, chi the chi chiming tree. Now I'm off the screen. Where am I? You don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. Oh, you can, get, you can get really high. And maybe we'll actually be... We can play in the blood. Maybe we can actually, you know, get to the third boss in the next run. You never know. Either way, Scourgebringer. Still having fun with it.